2K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group today. Hi Luke, I'm looking forward to bringing you the action from the ground level for this week's featured group. Now there's a sense of heightened competition this week and this player has mentioned that they're starting up a rivalry this week with their playing partner. So it appears this player's target is to beat Ricky Fowler this week. That should be an exciting showdown, Henny. Yeah, Ricky Fowler sounds like he's up for the challenge on social media. He's been talking about this rivalry. Is Ricky ever not up for the challenge, though? He'll smile as he's beating you, that's for sure. Yes, likes to kill him with kindness, does our Ricky. He is a, uh, a wonderful fella on and off the course. And with a renewed confidence in his game, the new father's looking to shine here. This will be a tough challenge for our rivalry. Currently one under for the event. The second at TPC Summerlin is a par four measuring 469 yards from the back tee. It plays slightly downhill, so a strong drive here will set up even just a short iron approach. However, there's a huge waste area to the right, so accuracy off the tee is required. The smart option here is to lay back with the three metal and give yourself a full shot in and also take one club less into this green as it will release down the slope. Just needs a little bit more of a kick to the right. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. He's one stroke behind his rival in this event. OK, let's get back to it, shall we? This part is about 19 feet in distance. All right, guys, this for two birdies in a row. Oh, that's frustrating. Putting for par. And down it goes. Currently one under for the tournament. The third hole at TPC Summerlin is a very strong par four measuring 492 yards. There's a huge ravine that works right up through the middle of this. It requires a very strong drive up the right half to go at this green in two. There is a big fairway to the left if you want to tuck over and get up and down for your par that way. Needs this one to kick right. That's inside the house of opportunity. They're a long way from the hole here. Work to be done. This is their look at birdie. Oh, so close, but an easy par. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Now over to Ricky Fowler. He's got some work to do, but he's only one back from his rival. It's time to check on the leaderboard. Some lovely momentum for this player moving up the leaderboard. The fourth at TPC Summerlin is a pretty straightaway par four, measuring 450 yards from the back tees. The fairway bunkers down the left and right are to be avoided. Really, not much to this hole, just be accurate on approach. Few players have had the kind of impact on the game that Ricky Fowler has, and certainly being a fan favourite, Rich, it's funny when you see grown men dressed head to toe in orange supporting this uh, wonderful person. Uh, but I know he wants more out of his career bio than what he's got right now. And he will definitely get it as well, Luke. He's too good of a talent, and he has too much ability to not be a great player and be on the top of the leaderboard uh, definitely a few times during the season. He is definitely, if there is a Pied Piper in golf outside of Tiger Woods, I would put my thumb on, on Ricky Fowler just because so many people go out there dressed in the orange gear that he has. And whatever he does, they just love it. He's engaging. He's affable. He looks like he is enjoying himself on the golf course, which I truly believe he is. He really is one of these players that's so dynamic and so fun to be around. You can't help but root for him week in and week out. 
Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. It's tracking. Yeah, you'll take that. Currently two under for the event. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. The sixth at TPC Summerlin is a staking par four, playing 430 yards. There's a big waste area up to the left-hand side that needs to be avoided. If you can position your drive on the right half of this fairway, it gives you the best shot up the hill to a green that is not protected by any bunkers. Nice out the rough here. Getting ready to play their third. He shares top spot. Didn't that look good for a long time? Good chance this one, right on six feet. Solid little par putt here. Looks good off the blade. Now, yeah, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, just missed. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. And now we can take a look at how that play affects the leaderboard. The seventh at TPC Summer is a short par four measuring just 382 yards off the tips. Really, you just want to avoid the trees on the left-hand side because that will prevent you getting at the green, which is well guarded by bunkers and trees. Lay up, short right, a nice little wedge in here and try and make a birdie. Trying to get it to move a little bit to the left here. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Already made a few birdies today. And this is another good look. Trying to get two, three under par with this putt. Okay, steady now. A par part awaits. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The eighth at TPC Summerlin is a big par three, playing 239 from the tips. A well-struck shot will avoid the gully here, but anything to the left half can roll off the green. The bunker short rider also to be avoided, so you don't make a sloppy bogey. Now over to Ricky Fowler. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. Nice putt to make for a birdie. And with that, he'll move to three under par. He finds himself in a share of the lead. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Oh, well done. Rich, uh, I know you love being here in Vegas. Perhaps for different reasons than watching the golf tournament. But while we're here at the tournament, you know, tell me a bit more about Shriner's impact on the game and, and this entire region. Look, I fail to see what you mean by that. Uh, I think Vegas is a very nice, uh, wholesome city uh, that I do enjoy coming to visit. But the golf course is fantastic. It's held at TPC Summerlin every single year. And it used to be the venue where they had the last round, but now every round is here. And I think the players enjoy that. I think they like being at the same golf course each and every day. They get a feel for it. And I think that's why the scores historically year in, year out are so much lower than they were in the past. I think it's a, a really good opportunity to go out there and make a ton of birdies. But that's not the easiest thing to do, is it? Getting comfortable making seven, eight, nine birdies around. Some players don't have that. 
that comfort zone. And so I'm always interested to see the players that get into that zone each and every day and are making that many birdies to see if they can sustain it for four straight days. Now, four under par, currently leading. That's not the shot they're after. And coming up well short. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Straight back up this hill can be firm here. How much did the win last week give them the confidence to perhaps pull it off again here and go back to back? A massive win last week, looking to double up again this week. I gotta say, they're building off all the good things they did last week. A win could definitely happen. And a par putt awaits him. Oh, so close. Well, that's providing some hope to the rest of the field as our leader stumbles with a bogey. Placement off the tee is required at the TPC Summerlin 11th hole. Par four, measuring 448 yards. The big bunker down the right side is to be avoided at all costs. And there's also a little tree there which might affect any line of sight approach this green. Chosen the pitching wedge here. And here we are with the third shot. He's currently tied for the lead. Oh, almost went in. Five feet coming up to the cup. This is what they have left for par here. Yeah, this is looking nice. Nicely hold and for par. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. The 12th here at Summerlin is another short par four. 442 yards off the tits, but plays slightly downhill and leaves just a short iron approach. The only real danger here is the big body of water. It starts around 150 yards short and goes right up past the green. Choosing the nine iron here. That was special. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. The 13th at TPC Summerlin is a monster par five, measuring over 600 yards from the back tees. The big hitters with a tail breeze can cover that bunker on the left-hand side. But if you want to lay up, make sure you've given yourself the right number, because there's a lot to this green and plenty of ways to three-putt it. Be careful on approach. Pretty good shot there. Getting ready to play their third. He's got a two-stroke buffer. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Looking for another birdie here. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Now over to Ricky Fowler. He's happy, just came off a birdie. Big time play, that one. At the right time, too. And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do. They mean business. The 14th at TPC Sumlin is a straightaway par three, playing 168 yards. The green slopes right to left, so make sure you've got the right length of club so you're not left with a long putt. Nicely done. Trying to get to six under now with this putt.
He was on a good line. And that should secure the par on this one. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. The 15th, the TPC Sutherland, is a great short par four. In fact, a lot will try and drive it in the tournament. If you want to lay it back, you've got around about 115 yards uphill to a green where you can't see those back hole locations. However, a good aggressive play here must avoid the pot bunkers around the greens or the big waste area to the left. A chance to make a birdie here or even an eagle. This one looks to be a tad wayward. Bad got a little out of control, I think. Oh, a little shorty baker on that action there. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Putting for a par here. Right over the spot they were looking at. The putt drops, now at five under, heading down the stretch. With just a small sliver of a lead, this could go any different direction down the stretch. The 16th at TPC Sumlin is another one of those great scoring holes en route to the finish. A par five playing 560 yards. A well-struck drive up the right half here gives you a chance to get at this green in two. If you are going for the green, make sure you've got enough club because that huge penalty area in front of it will ruin any score. Be careful going through the green here as well because getting down from over the back is not that easy. That's the right option. Put it back in play. And here we are with the third shot. Now a three-shot lead over the field. We need this one to bounce right. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Why don't we catch up with Ricky Fowler? Well, this would be a big birdie here. Good putt to make. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. This has a real chance. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. And that will take him to six under. Well, I think that warrants another look. Let's see that again. Now this, this is how you putt. Take another look at this. Now four shots up after that hole. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. The 17th at TPC Summerlin is a downhill par three playing 196 yards. Jonathan Bird once famously holed out in the playoff here to snatch the title. The green shapes right to left towards the hazard, so make sure if you're going to go for it, be very accurate. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Setting up this putt 27 feet from the cup. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Looking great now. Wonderful putt. And that puts some real pressure on their rival now. Moments like that deserve another viewing. Let's take a look at the replay. They got their putting boots on here. Look at how this ball rolls end to end. Thing of beauty. He sits in first position. The 18th at TPC Sutherland is a 444 yard par four with a big body of water just beyond the gully, which you've got to drive. Make sure you avoid those bunkers on the right side to give you a good iron into this green. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Sitting up here from about 160 yards. Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. And this putt for the tournament.
Well, it's fair to say that this player ran the tables this week, Rich, and came up trumps in Las Vegas. Look at your Shriners Children's Open winner. And nobody on the PGA Tour will be shining quite as brightly as this player the rest of the evening here in Las Vegas.